Hi everybody, welcome back. Week 10, we're getting very close. I've got a simple, simple treat holder for you today. It's a popcorn box, and you're not gonna believe how easy this is, okay? First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to this web page that I'm gonna give you a link to, and it's called bellasprintables.com, and it has free printables, you guys. So here it is, that's all you do. And I like to print it directly on my cardstock, and my printer will not uh, feed the Stampin' Up! cardstock for some reason. So I print it out on white paper and then I cut out a piece of um, Stampin' Up! cardstock and I put it on here, tape it, and then I print it through. Okay? If that doesn't work, print it and use it as a template and trace it. It's, I mean, it's so easy. So I did it. This one was on um, Gumball Green and then I did it on Real Red. And I cut them out and I put them on my Simply scored. You can also use your stamp and trimmer and just lined it up and used my scoring tool to score those lines so that it would score really easily. It would bend easily. It would be ready to go. All right. Now, the next part you're going to do is pick out which kind of DSP you want to use. I use Polka Dot Parade on this one. And this time, when I cut out my template, I traced it. Um, on here and I then went on my stamp and trimmer and cut off a quarter of an inch on each side that just on this side and this side and that way it fits right in there perfectly another thing I want to point out to you is that the print lines you want them to be on the inside you don't want them to be showing on the outside okay so to put this together you're gonna to need two of them and you're going to put them together just like this okay now this one, let's see, let me make sure I have all these folded in good before I fold it all up. I'm going to put my sticky strip, and again, use sticky strip, you guys. Um, snail will not hold a project like this together. You've got to use this strong stuff. Okay, so I'm going to fold this up like this, and this is going to go on the inside. I'm going to carefully line those edges like that. All right, now I'm going to fold these in, and I'm just going to put sticky strip on one of these flaps. Let's do it like that. Okay, I've got some fuzz in there. All right, and there we go. I'm going to push it down, and there's your super duper simple popcorn box. Okay, now for my tag, I'm again using actually. Yes, right here. Wishing you a Christmas chair and a Happy New Year from Christmas Messages. This is my go-to this year for um, Christmas sentiments. I did this one in real red, so this time I'm going to do it opposite. Make sure my stamp is clean. And I'm going to stamp it in um, old olive I did. Okay. Now, I'm going to line it up using my magnetic platform. And I'm going to use this believe from apothecary accent framelits. I always have trouble saying that. All right, stamp first, line it up second so you can see what you're doing. Run it quickly. And there you have that part. The last thing I did was add a few candy dots. And to get these candy dots off, well, I don't have it here. You want to use your um, paper or your fingernail because sometimes the adhesive comes off and stays on the, the sheet. That frustrates me when that happens. All right, so there you go. Add a couple of dimensionals. Okay. And let's see, I'm going to pick my favorite side. Which one looks the best? I think that's it. Add it right there. And then you're going to add your cello bag of candy. And that's it, you guys. So easy. And I think, actually, I would make some kind of um, treat. And if I can remember, I will link you guys to an amazing recipe for what my friends lovingly call crack corn. It's the best popcorn in the whole world. And that's what I give to everybody at Christmas. So this year, they'll be getting them in these cute little popcorn boxes. All right. I hope that you've enjoyed it. And I will see you next week. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.